from a black base coat, paint all the metal areas on the weapons and the armour with lead belcher. all of the brass areas with Balthasar gold, namely the middle of the headdress and the medal on the waist. This will differ from model to model. Paint the skirt with Mephiston red. As these are a horde army, you could change up the positions of the red and the black cloth. Paint all the dark skinned areas and fur areas with Mornfang Brown. This will probably need two coats over the black undercoat. Base coat the lighter areas of skin now with rat skin flesh um, where the edges meet, so particularly around the wrists and around the ankles. Using jagged lines can kind of blur this edge, and the subsequent wash stage will also help these to mix together. Note if you don't have rat skin flesh, something like Bugman's Glow would work just as well, as this will be shaded and highlighted in due course. Paint all of the wooden areas, so the shields that are wooden and the hands of the weapons with dry bark. Paint the teeth and the toenails with sandry dust. the entire model with Agrax Archade, making sure it settles in the deepest recesses but wick away any excess on flat surfaces. Highlight the raised edges of the red cloth with Evil Sun Scarlet. Um, in some areas this is well defined, in other areas you may put down a streak or two where it's flat, just to give the impression of texture. Pick out the sharpest edges with a second highlight of a Fire Dragon Bright.
highlight the raised areas of the wooden texture with Gorthor Brown. This step and the following step could probably work just as well, if not better actually with dry brushing. The problem is it would then probably spill onto the metal areas as well. But given it for a horde army, I probably would more be inclined to dry brush were to do this again. A second highlight then in smaller areas with Bing Bay Brown following the procedure as previous. highlight the lighter flesh tones that were originally rat skin with Cadian flesh tone covering the raised surfaces leaving the darker tone in the recesses. I decided to pick out all of the parts of the tail raised with Cadian Fetchlone as well. Now this takes quite some time. I like the effect, but again, being a horde army, maybe not overly necessary. Certainly what you're running on characters though. Pick out the sharpest edges on the face and hands and feet using Kislev Flesh. the eyes first pick out the entire eye using resistant red once this is dried i didn't record the next step but then paint a smaller area using fire dragon bright finish the eyes with dots of uriel yellow in the very center highlight the black first pick out the folds with eschen gray this can be a broad highlight picking out the raised areas A second thinner highlight of Dawnstone on the most prominent of sharp edges to finish the effect. highlight both the silver and brass areas using stormhole silver using the edge of the brush where possible the other thing i find particularly with stormhole silver is actually opening the paint out onto something like a kitchen towel so that the paint you're pulling off is already slightly drier which allows you to almost 
dry brush in in a sense that it'll catch the edges without spilling onto the flat surfaces. Pick out the teeth and the toes with Ushabti bone. Also at this stage I picked out the most prominent edges on the fur with this colour and then this is dulled down a bit in the next step to make it blend in with the rest of the model. Edge highlight the darker flesh tones now using scrag brown. Um, you don't need to do a huge amount of this, but any of the sharp edges to define muscles um, just gives an extra kind of degree of detail onto this part of the model. Shade the fur areas again with Agrax Earthshade to slightly dull down the bright colour and allow it to match the rest of the model a bit better. And this is the finished result. If you like this video, please check out the channel where I have numerous other painting tutorials.